Now that we're back to ventilation, note here in the corner that the tidal volume per predicted body weight is not active. In order to get that information, we need to put some data into the ventilator. So I could press the screen here, or I could go up to predicted body weight and press. Once I've opened this menu, I need to input the gender and the height of my patient. I can also push information to get more data. Let's input a female that's a height of 160 centimeters. Once I've pressed done, I now have the predicted body weight displayed on the screen and the tidal volume for each breath is now displayed. If I want to adjust the tidal volume according to body weight, I now have the ability to do that on the screen. When I push my tidal volume, if I want to ventilate six milliliters per kilogram for this patient, I can adjust that directly on the screen. You'll note that I now have the tidal volume, total tidal volume, as well as the tidal volume per body weight displayed on the screen. If I drop that to six, I'll see that the proper tidal volume for this patient is 310 to deliver six per kilogram.